This is the project where I left it with just LEDs in the circuit. Well, the idea is to get this to work with a transformer. So we get current going through one side and then the other and then we get an AC output at the secondary. Well, I did find an audio transformer to use. I don't know what the ohms are in the wiring diagram of the uh, radio, but uh, we'll worry about that later. Here's the results so far with this audio transformer. Okay, I've got this meter on AC. I'll turn on the 24 volt power supply. And as you can see, we've got about two volts coming out of the secondary right up here. And here's one side of the transformer and the primary, and there's the other. And this is the center tap right here. And I just put a diode in between the uh, center tap and the positive just so I could see if the circuit was working and some things that I found out that's interesting is that if I take the diode out of the circuit yeah, it's only, you can still see it's working but we've got a little less voltage which is kind of interesting so I put this on the scope to see why. This is what the output looks like with the diode in the circuit in series with the positive voltage. And you can see that it's not quite equal. Now I have taken the diode out of the circuit and now the bottom part is beginning to look more like the top and it's a little bit less so that's why we've got a little less voltage with the diode out of the circuit well it looks like my idea is going to work we've got 24 volts on that transformer and we're getting an output but in the radio I'm going to have 90 volts. Now here's the wiring diagram of the power supply. And right here is the part that I'm trying to replace. And that is a mechanical vibrator. And what that does is it moves a reed back and forth, opening and closing the contacts on each side of the transformer. And my circuit is going to fit in right here. Now we do have some adjustments. This resistor uh, will help me adjust the circuit and get to the 1.4 volts that I'm looking for. Now if you look down to the right, we've got a lot of filtration there. 1200 microfarad capacitors and uh, coils to filter out all that noise remembering that I'm trying to replace a buzzer and I think the uh, MOSFETs will probably be a, a lot smoother than uh, a buzzer. Now up to the right that's where the diodes are to rectify our output voltage and if you look at pin 11 that goes up to our 1.4 volts output and if you follow that wire down you'll see that there's even a test point so you can plug a meter in easily to set the voltage at 1.4 volts now I had one more idea I was wondering about that 100 ohm resistor 
that's common to both MOSFETs if I really needed that or not. And to see what happens, I was hoping that it would raise the voltage. Okay. Now we saw that the reason why the voltage went down both sides of the sine wave were a little bit less. So that means that I need to change some components a little bit to make them more even. Then I had another thought. I go, what happens if I short out this uh, 100 ohm resistor that is uh, in common with both sides of the multi vibrator? So here I'm going to short that out. And you can see that it does go up a little bit, so I may not need that 100 ohm resistor. But the circuit works, and I'm definitely heading in the right direction. Well, it looks like I'm going in the right direction. So this is to be continued a little bit more in the future. Thanks for watching.